kalimutan kong mag-request ng kanilang prayer request? Uh, wala po nag-post eh, pero meron po mga nag-send sa akin. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, tapos pa ano yung pwede nating isulat dito kung ano yung iba pang prayer request. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, start tayo. So, 7 o'clock, let's start. Exciting. Len Len. Len Len is here with us. Yes. Hello, Len Len. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, go ahead, Mr. Jeff. Okay, let's start. Uh, good evening and uh, good morning kung saan man sa Maynila meron. <laughs> Iba-iba na oras kasi. Actually, we are expecting in the future that uh, we will be having a lot of people coming from different time zones. So, mm-hmm. we're kind of starting slow. Uh, every Everything that you start naman will start slow until mm-hmm. uh, a lot of people will realize how significant it is to pray. So, welcome to our Zoom prayer party. Nagkaroon na rin tayo ng pangalan. Last time, eh, nangihiram tayo ng pangalang Hardy na panalangin. <laughs> so, ayan. So, start muna tayo. Mag, uh, may explain ko ba't natin kailangan basahin itong mga, ano na to, mga scriptures na to. Start muna tayo sa first slide. Uh, yung dalawang verses. Uh, at dalawang... Uh, text. Uh, start like uh, Sister Hansel. Sister Hansel, makikipasa po. 1 Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Jeremiah 30, 33, 3. Call to me and I will answer you and tell you great and unsearchable things you do not know. Man. Pastor Manny, makikipasa po. Luke 6, 27 to 28. But to you who are listening, I say, love your enemies, do good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who mistreat you. Matthew 6, 6. But when you pray, go into your room, close the door, and pray to your Father who is unseen. Then your Father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Amen. Sister Len Len, Mikey Basapo. Psalm 18, verse 6, In my distress, I call to the Lord. I cry to my God for help. From this temple, he heard my voice. My cry came before him into his ears. Mark 11, verse 24, Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. Amen. I read this, Philippians 4, 6. Do not be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. James 5.16 Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Balik tayo kay Sister Hansel. Sister Hansel? Nakamute ka. Unmute na din. Go ahead. First John 1 9, if you confess our sins, is faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. Jeremiah 29 12, then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you. Amen. So, bakit natin binasa tong mga mga scriptures na to? Kasi, uh, minsan napapansin nyo bago ta- pagka bumibili tayo ng gamot pag may nararamdaman tayo ano may sakit sa atin binabasa natin yung ano yung uh, ano ba yung power ng gamot na yun saan ba siya gawa baka may tama natin or ano or kapag uh, bibili tayo ng mga anything na na pagkain titingnan natin yung mga nutritional ano uh, facts about it so Every Saturday, we will teach people to 
uh, somehow a glance in a scripture para makita lang nila na merong sense yung ginagawa nilang prayer. Kasi the Word of God itself is uh, kumbaga, uh, proclaiming na prayer is significant. Prayer is essential. And these are the results. These are the manifestations. This will be the uh, kumbaga, byproduct kapag ginawa natin yung prayer. So it's isa rin to sa pakikipag kasi sabi natin ng prayer dialogue isa rin to sa pag-assure sa atin ng Panginoon, kumbaga kinakausap niya tayo through the word na uh, hey you need prayer, kumbaga uh, assure you that this will be effective. So alam naman natin nga sabi natin prayer is the power bank no of our daily journey. So it's a soul of pressure, stress reliever means of communication, the backbone of uh, our ministry. So welcome. This will be a one-hour prayer only gathering. No, not a Bible study session. No preaching. No other activities. Only nothing but prayer. So ang goals natin is a uh, promote natin sa mga tao, lalo na sa mga walk by faith uh, members, yung selflessness that uh, matuto silang magpray sa ibang tao, pati na rin sa kanilang sarili. Uh, Siyempre, uh, ma-form yung habit nila in praying. Kahit na magsimula muna ng every Saturday, no? at uh, sa ma-form na ma-form yung habit nila. So, I'm looking at in the future, this will not be just a one-hour event. No? As, as, as um, many will join, People will get to appreciate yung prayer and uh, and uh, humaba na humaba yung ating prayer time. So, of course, uh, we will still use the old school ACTS, yung Acts, adoration. No? Uh, one way of praising God is, uh, ano eh, is uh, reflecting on the word and uh, kumbaga, uh, uh, establishing kung sino siya. Baga, uh, syempre, we'll have our confessions mamaya. And then Thanksgiving, meron tayong, ano, meron tayong uh, testimony time. So, pwede tayong magbigay ng mga Thanksgiving natin doon. And of course, the main event is that <coughs> we will pray, you know, ask God for favor for other people and for ourselves. So, we'll pray for our world, country, church, neighbor, friends, relatives, and we will specifically pray for you. So, start tayo. No? Kamusta na kayo? Anong mga pangyayari sa mga buhay-buhay? Anything that uh, you wanna share? Any uh, testimony na gusto nyong uh, i-share sa maraming tao? Tapos, uh, naghihintay tayo pa ng iba pang mga sasama sa atin. We'll start at exactly uh, 7.30. So, we have enough time to uh, talk about life, talk about uh, ministry, talk about uh, what is happening around the world. Balita ko eh, gusto pa ata na hanggang July, uh, tayo naka-quarantine. Ano bang masasabi niyo doon? <laughs> kamusta, kamusta? Si Sir Len Len, kamusta ka? Ay, thankful po ako na kahit maliliit lang yung trabaho, uh, may trabaho. Mm-hmm. Kahit pa iba-iba ng anong lugar na pinupuntahan like for example weekend nagbabantay ako weekdays meron na akong 20 hours work I'm thankful mm-hmm. but kasi nakakatawid naman kahit pa paano may pambayad ng pag-upa ng apartment mm-hmm. somehow nakakatawid ako doon and thankful also na kasi in, nagkaroon kami ng open communication ng ng Pilipinas ng, ng mga relatives ko sa Philippines at the same time sa Canada and then sa uh, sa Texas so, nag, nag-pray kami over robot sa cellphone, sabay-sabay, dun sa Viber. Mm-hmm. So, nagkakaroon kami every every night, meron kaming session ng prayer din. Tapos, yun yung mga madaming ano, nag-reunion na tao ngayon. Diba? Yung mga yung mga dating artista, nag-reunion. <laughs> yung mga no. dating magkakaibigan. Kami, mga ano mga, mga friends ko noong Noong uh, teenagers kami, meron kaming, ano eh, meron kaming Catholic 
group movement ang tawag kay Marian Youth Movement. So nag-reunion kami sa Zoom, nakakatuwa no, ang tatanda na namin. <laughs> yung iba mga lolo't lola na. So napapansin niyo yung pandemic nag nagdadala ng mga tao together, no? Kung kayo yung tatanungin, ano yung ano yung ano, ano yung bukod sa pangit na dinala ng pandemic, on the other perspective kasi sabi sa sabi ni Paul sa atin eh, kumbaga Uh, think about these things. So, what is beautiful? What is lovely? What is? Maga, look at the per- other perspective. No? Ano ba yung dinalang maganda ng pandemic para sa inyo? Anyway. Ay ako Pastor Jeff. Apo. Napaka napaka busy ko kasi gumawa kami ng ay bakit na wala ay. Go ahead po. <laughs> okay po kayo. Nag 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 test kami. Nag validate ako ng test tungkol sa antibody ng ano antibody ng covid okay kaya the whole quarantine time kayo lahat nakarelax ako hindi oh because sa lab kayo so, nag-work nag-work talaga kami hindi kami hmm. pwedeng hindi mag-work so yeah. nasa lab kami so nag-work ako i still work and then nag-supervise pa rin ang mga trabaho mm-hmm. and then na busy ako dahil nga doon na na live na namin yung antibody testing. Wow. So, kung sino gusto magpa-antibody test, all oh, ako ako. Um, welcome <laughs> na welcome kasi ang purpose nito is pag nalaman namin may antibody ka na, mm-hmm. IgG big sabihin either you're exposed to the virus or you have immunity. Mm-hmm. So yun ang ini-encourage namin ngayon sa lahat na wala naman kayo COVID, hindi naman kayo COVID positive, mm-hmm. PR, magpa-antibody test kayo. Oh. Kasi doon malalaman kung kung talagang na-expose ka o wala. Ano po procedure ng antibody test? Ay, dugo test? Kukunin ka lang, kukunan ka lang ng dugo. Oh, okay. Sa doktor mo, pumunta ka sa doktor mo, sabihin mo, magpa-antibody test kayo. Oo, oh, okay. Pag na-antibody test, ang significance nito, dalawa lang. Either mm-hmm. you're exposed Happy. to the virus and saka may immunity ka na. Mm-hmm. So pag may immunity ka, when you go out, you're at least at ease. Yeah. Pag, negative, pag negative ka, double careful ka pa rin. Kasi yeah. wala, ka, wala ka pang antibody. Mm-hmm. Kung nagka-antibody ka, ibig sabihin na exposed ka, nagiging ano ka, para kang ano lang, uh, non-symptomatic, asymptomatic ang tawag namin. So, mm-hmm. kung asymptomatic ka, that means you carry the virus without mm-hmm. you doing it. And then, uh, after 14 days, nakadevelop ka na ng antibody against the virus, which is very good. Oh, okay. Mer- so, very promising kasi meron na kaming mga testing. Marami pa rin negative. May mga nagpa-positive na rin, which is mm-hmm. good. Hmm. Baka pero, yung may mga prior history ng COVID positive. Yan, yeah, nag-positive na sila sa antibody. Pero tansya niyo po. Ha? Ang, ang, ano pong tansya niyo? Kailan kaya yung vaccine sa palagay niyo? Ah, oh, end of the year pa siguro. Kasi usually yan, mga 18 months ang production. Kasi i-clinical trial pa yan eh. Oh. So ngayon, i-clinical trial sila. Then after that, tsaka na yung production. So baka end of the year na or beginning oh. of next year. So kasi, pag may vaccine, mas mm. daming trabaho ko kasi once you have the vaccine, we will test your antibody kung nag-develop oh. ka ng antibody. Oh, dadami kasi, talaga trabaho ko. Ang vaccine kasi is a uh, factor to consider it whenever oh, we, oh, we will be deciding yan, oh. eh, sa the reopening. Mm. Mm. Hi, Pero Sister Fe. Hi. Hi. Fe. Hi. Kamusta po? Kansel, natatanong ako. Ako, Kansel, oh, kasi yung ubo ko nga hindi maalis, yung gabi lang naman, tapos parating nakakaplema. Natapos na ako ng five days antibiotic, almost four, four bottles na ako ng ubo. Hindi pa rin maalis. Ang baka asthmatic flu, uh, asthmatic flu, asthmatic okay. cough yan? Mm-hmm. That means, pag asthmatic cough na may plem, kailangan Alam naman akong asma eh. Hindi, tawag lang, hindi lang yan, term lang yan. Asthmatic. Ah, oh. Oh, oh. Kaya hindi makuha. Kaya mag-aantay allergy ka talaga dahil oh, hindi yan. Oo, may inuma ko, Loratadine. Ay, mahina ang Loratadine yan. 
Mm-hmm. Mahina na yan. So, usually, kailangan mo na isang class. Kasi Lerte din is only antihistamine. Mm-hmm. So, mayroon isang yeah. class din na yung Allegra, iba ang component ng Allegra. Oo. Oh. Pwede so, ko ba yun mayroon? Si Teristin is uh, over-the-counter din yan. Si Teristin na uh, anti-allergy, iba rin yung component yan. Ang si Teristin, mas ina-knockout ka lang. Pag ininom mo, sa gabi lang kasi knockout ka kaagad. Oh, kasi nag-worry ako dahil sabi ng mga kasama ko sa building, by May 15 daw, next week daw, magpapaso ka na sa building. Ayoko namang ma... Ay, Farmer, you magpatest ka na lang sa COVID. Pag negative ka, you're fine. Ayoko, katakot ako. Depende sa doktor. Pag pa doktor ka na, baka yung antibiotic mo. Kasi ang antibiotic mo, baka resistant ka na. Hindi na pwede sa ganun. Kasi usually, kinoculture na yun pag matagal eh. Pag nakulture, itetest yan, titingnan ko ano antibiotic ka sensitive, tsaka bibigyan ang doktor. E nagbigyan lang siya ng antibiotic, hindi ka naman tinest kung anong klase bakterya ang nandyan. Oo, yun nga eh. Eh, ang next appointment ko pa is June 25. Gusto ko sana June 25. Papaki, papatingin. Okay din ba? Diba, may flag? May flag ha? Mag ano ka na lang? Sa umaga Mas, lang naman. Sa umaga lang. Saka hindi mag- ganun kadami. Mag mucolytic ka para mawala. Anong kamot yung inumin ko? Mucolytic nga. Anything mucolytic. Punta ka ng 99 cents. May mucolytic yan dyan. <laughs> mga capsule. Ah, mga tablet. Oh, hindi ako lumalabas. Basta make sure eh. sa 99 cents. Made in USA, baka made in China. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ako lumalabas at tatakot ako sa writing. Kuro papa, papa, ano na lang alakun sa doktor. Kung punta ka sa writing, anything mucolytic. Basta parang ano ano ba yun? Mucos relief? Ano ba yung, okay. ano ba yung magkamot na yan? Na na-advertise eh. Probitusin? Hindi, mucos. Basta anything mucos relief. Dapat. Tatatasa <laughs> tata, 99 cents. Ano eh, made in China eh. <laughs> <laughs> Ayoko nga pumunta ng 99 cents. Tatatakos ako dun. Eh, <laughs> hey, marami na rin made in USA dyan. Hindi na, hindi na sila nagkikira ng made in China. <laughs> Minsan natawa ako, ako sa... Na ulit, doctor. Pwede, kailangan diba magpa-X-ray? Pwede. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Magre-request na lang Pwede. ako pa X-ray. Pwede sa kanya. Doktor mo. Dapat ang doktor mo ang mag-aano niya. Eh, yeah, saka yung puro over the phone lang kami. Hindi kami nakikita pa eh. Sa jury oh, pa. Oo, yeah. Ngay- ganun nga ngayon eh. Over the phone lang eh. Kaya, sabi nga nila, papasok na daw next week. Parang ayoko pang pumasok. Mm-hmm. Ay, kami hindi nakapasok. Pasok, pasok na mga kami lahat. Ako. Social distancing, tsaka ano, yung mm-hmm. nakamask kami lahat. Mm-hmm. Ay, may mga face shield naman yung mga tao. Tsaka mask. Tsaka social distancing. Uh-huh. Kasi six feet ang mga, ano ko, yung mga staff ko, kailangan naka, yung table nila, yung bench nila, naka-apart. Tsaka ang schedule, hindi sabay-sabay pumupunta. Okay. Inistagal na yung schedule. Palikan natin yung ano, yung tanong, ano, anong, ano yung mga positive na, na binigay sa atin ng, ng pandemic na to, ng COVID-19, no? Madali ako, nainitin ako. Sige, meron pa tayong 12 minutes. Uh, ano ano yung sa palagay nyo, aside from doon sa negative impact sa buhay natin, eh, magandang impact naman na uh, dinudulot sa atin. Kasi ibang pamilya, mas naging close. Madaming reunions ngayon. That's entertainment nga, nag-reunion. Smoking <laughs> with mountain. <laughs> so, uh, parang, kumbaga, parang it brought the closer. Ay, it brought the world closer together no, dahil sa pandemic. No? Sa inyo, Ay, pasama ano, isa ako. Sige po. Yung, nung, pag nasa boss ako, napansin ko lahat ng tao nakakover yung mouth, ah, yung face, di ba? Mm-hmm. Sometimes, sometimes yung iba napapagod, siguro hindi makahinga, binababa nila hanggang sa ilong. Mm-hmm. But, but people, yung mga passengers, they were aware, kapag na, na-aware sila na hindi mo, hindi nakalagay sa up to the nose, sinasabihan nila yung tao, they, they don't, they, they're not afraid na, na, oh, Naka ano ka dyan, yung mga ganon. Mm-hmm. Naging concern si bus. Yeah. Which is good kasi, kasi sa bus, ang hangin umiikot lang, lalo no aircon, di ba? Mm-hmm. So naging concern sila sa bawat isa, parang bantay ano sila sa mga tao. Each one is, they take responsibility na hindi kumalat yung, ano, yung germs. Mm-hmm. 
So this will affect also, no, kasi may tinatawag na new normal. Will the new normal affect in a sense na yung, yung kultura natin Pilipino na nagmamano tayo? Yung sa church, mahilig tayo magbeso-beso, magyakapan, mag-hi-fi. Uh, no, what do you think guys, ma, ma, baga, will this affect pagbalik natin? Anong, sa of course, pati yung food sharing. Oh, so, oh. oh nga, no? Tsaka konting ubo lang, hey, anong ubo yan? Mm-hmm. Even in the office, before they went, pag nagka, sa, alimbawa, nag, meron kayong kinoko sa computer, meron kayong chinecheck, as in, dikit-dikit kayo, now, they respect each other na, o, oh, i-distansya ka dyan. May, mm-hmm. Nagkaroon sila ng courtesy. Yeah. Inoobserve nila yung mga ganun. Kayo po, Sister Fe, anything na napansin nyo na parang positive effect na binigay ng COVID-19? Uh, dumami pastor ang mga online Bible studies. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, at saka yung mga services ng mga church. Lahat yeah. nagpo-post sa Facebook. Mm-hmm. Mas yeah. busy ang mga pastor ngayon. Naging instant mm-hmm. vlogger lahat ng pastor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Natuto lahat pag uh, <laughs> pagsalit na sa camera. Mo. Tsaka maraming taong nagsishare sa mga less fortunate. Yun ang napansin ko sa Philippines. Yan, yeah, din isang positibo. Tsaka lumawak talaga yung ano, no? Yung uh, uh, tawag nito, yung pulpito ng pastor. Mm-hmm. Dati, every Sunday, mga 30-50 lang ang nanonood. Pero ngayon, eh, daan-daan. Hindi ko pa nga minsan. Eh, eh Pastor Manny, mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, and uh, uh, well, uh, there are a lot of things that I learned during this time. How to use the uh, online ministry, the Zoom. I have no idea about that before. Ngayon, at least I have an idea na. <laughs> and I also discovered some things on uh, Facebook. I've been putting a lot of verses down and getting a lot of friends already from different groups. And uh, I noticed there's some groups there that you could create a room for mm-hmm. prayer and Bible study within the group itself. Kanina ko lang na-discover. So, Facebook po? Sa isang, uh, Facebook. Okay. The next thing ko, you could create a room there for Bible study or for prayer or for whatever things you want to communicate. Mm-hmm. And then ipopost mo lang doon and then you could tell them, join me this time. Once mm-hmm. they enter, parang ganitong Zoom. Yeah. Ang makikita may, may, may uh, ginagamit rin ng audio and video ng camera mo, ng computer mo. And so, so you could communicate with them. So that, that so we can have a Bible study with them in a different group. Mm-hmm. So I learned a lot. At saka yung mga, oh, kama si Sister Faye, yung mga kilala kong pastor sa Pilipinas na una. Nakikita ko na ngayon oh, <laughs> online. <laughs> Lumiit yung mundo eh, no? Oo. Oh, yung mga kasama ko doon sa, sa Bacolod na hindi ko nakikita. Ano, ngayon, they na have their own uh, way to uh, show the video of their preaching. So, iba't ibang style lang. Ah. Yeah, napansin nyo ba na, ano? Na, tag nito, yung audience mo, hindi lang sa Amerika. Minsan, mas madami pa yung audience mo na nasa Pilipinas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's true. So, the, the, at, at least we, we get to know a lot of people through this ministry. It extends our territory. Yung minsan, nag, nag-church ka lang isang beses. No? Pag Sunday. Mm-hmm. Ngayon eh, minsan, kung mag-service ka, dalawa, tatlo, minsan, apat pa. Kasi pinapanood mo rin yung ibang simbahan eh. Yes, oh. so, that's true. 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 Maganda rin. So, sa tingin niyo ba, indication to na darating na si Lord? 
<laughs> yeah, or no rice will be able to see. Know. Right? Just be ready because anytime mm-hmm. we don't know. Might. Because the gospel will be preached to the ends so, of the earth. Eh, internet na eh. Yeah, internet no? Oh. Oh. Internet oh. Grabe. So, naramdaman ko medyo malapit na yung panahon na yun. Saka, alam mo ba, kagabi, nanood ako ng news, they're mm. already mentioning about the one world government. Oh. Yeah. Uh, there was one mayor in, ano, hindi, kalimutan ko anong state yun. Nagkaroon na siya. I, I, I'll research that one. Mm-hmm. Sabi niya, we have to follow what the one world government is uh, mandating. We go, what? What one world? <laughs> it's the World Health Organization. <laughs> oh man. That's really That's something. <laughs> okay. Uh, dako po tayo sa ating mga prayer request. Share ko lang yung screen. Ayan. So... We're done with our kamustahan, testimony. Uh, please be reminded of our church activities. Uh, every Sunday, bukas, 10 to 11, meron tayong Sunday service sa Facebook at, y- at sa YouTube live. At uh, sa gabi naman, meron tayong alas 7 ng gabi, Bible study sa Zoom. Every Monday, merong training for Bible study leaders, 7 p.m. Every Wednesday naman, Itong Wednesday, alas 6 ng gabi hanggang alas 7, Q&A. No, it's a preparation for the 7 to 8 midweek service. So, sa, sa Zoom, 6 to 7, magtatanungan tayo. Base doon sa yung mga questions, base doon sa ipipreach ng 7 to 8. So, after mag-Q&A, tapos uh, papanoorin sabay-sabay yung midweek service. So, mga parang piniprep lang yung tao. And uh, every Thursday, 7 to 8, uh, meron tayong Bible study. So, bakit, ano, ano, halos araw-araw yung ino-open natin? Every Friday, 7 p.m., at Pastor Manny, ako rin, meron mag-open tayo. Kasi, gusto natin bigyan ng opportunity lahat, especially yung mga members natin, na mamili sila. No, wala, wala, walang reason para hindi mag-Bible study. No? Kahit isa lang, once a week lang. No? Once a week lang. So medyo matrabaho sa amin itong mga pastor, pero okay lang. No? Sa importante, ma-reach out natin lahat ng tao natin. Ngayon, open din tayo kung sino yung gusto sumali na hindi naman natin part ng church or kahit wala dito sa US o kahit saan kang galing sa mundo o FW ka o ano pa man, nalulungkot ka, sumusumali sa amin, okay lang yun. So, ino-open natin to lahat uh, to reach out to a lot of people para ma-equip sila during the during the week. At uh, kasi may, meron naman tayo ng weekends. Eh. So, Saturdays, ito, meron tayong Zoom prayer party every 7 hanggang alas 8 lang, uh, one hour lang. At uh, this is to promote prayer. No? Yun, hope to see you no? pag nag-relaunch tayo. So, uh, this will be our prayer list. So sa world, syempre, yung pandemic, frontliners, no? pag-pray natin yan. Anything sa mundo na gusto niyong ipanalangin? Na idadagdag natin? Sa mga bansa uh, natin? Sa, I... Sige pa. Go ahead. Ang ano kasi, for the church, I think we need to have repentance and revival. Mm-hmm. Kasi hindi pwedeng revival pag walang repentance. So, Amen. include that. But ready ang heart ng mga mem- mga tao going back to church. Mm-hmm. Kasi baka is the same behavior, the same the same attitude ba yung very complacent mm-hmm. or magiging church goer lang. Mm-hmm. We started to become lazy na ayaw nang lumabas ng bahay. Mm-hmm. But I think we really need to congregate kasi yun ang sinasabi sa Hebrews. Eh. Mm-hmm. We need to really do not forget to you know, come together steering each other up. Parang gano. Amen. How about the others? May gusto ba kayong idagdag? 
ng prayer item sa world, sa country, sa church. O kung titingnan naman natin dito yung yung friends, yung relatives or about you, no? Siyempre, we pray about the uh, we pray natin salvation nila. And uh, there are names here na pagpe-pray natin mamaya. So kayo, sino yung gusto niyong idagdag dito? Pwede natin isulat. Can you include Madel? <coughs> Madel okay. is undergoing uh, chemo therapy. Mm -hmm. She's got uh, uh, stage 3 cancer. Pangkin ko po. Ako na po, pangkin ko. And then yung, ano, yung uncle ni Christine who has also lung cancer. Ano po pangalan? Christine's uncle lang. Uncle. Christine's uncle. Yeah. Stage 3 din po. May ano, may lung cancer din? Ah, lung cancer. Hindi ko alam ko ano stage was. Lung cancer. Yeah. I just want to pray for his uncle na ano nang may lang Panginoon or whatever. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sino pa pong gusto natin ipanalangin? Sister Len, si Sir Fe, eh, gusto po kayo indagdag na ipagsin natin pa nalang. Ay, uh, nakapamangkin ko, Pastor, kasi pag nagbabible studies na sa kumpang, talagang resistant sila eh. Okay. Uh, kahit isama sa church, ayaw. Hindi sila nagsisipa. Talagang mm -hmm. ang katira nila, kanya-kanyang, kanya-kanyang, ano yan? Kanya-kanyang vibe. Mm -hmm. Anybody um, else? Problema ito ngayon ng Holy Pastor. Ang mga ka Catholic lalong nagiging idolatros. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, totoo yeah. yan. Kasi ang the more naging religious sila eh. Mm -hmm. Kasi mm -hmm. akala nila that's the way it is. So, yun ang pag-pray natin. Instead of really turning to the Lord, eh, sa Santos pa rin eh. Mm -hmm. Dami ko nakikita ang nakapost. Oo, nakapost sa... Uh, Facebook. Facebook. Mhm. Ah. natin yung mga anak ko. Find the one true God. Yan kasi maganda yung heart na maraming tao na hinahanap ang Diyos pero yung hanapin yung totoong Diyos, yun yung kaibahan noon eh. Yeah po. <coughs> Kasi kumbaga mag, mag, magandang intensyon eh na hanapin yung totoong Diyos pero minsan in an idolatrous way doon doon na pupunta yung paghahanap sa Diyos. Mm -hmm. So panalangin natin na makilala talaga nila yung tunay na Diyos. Sino pa po? Yung mga anak ko, Pastor. Okay po. Uh, Sige lang, ano na? Diyo tinatamad. Tamad <laughs> uh, <laughs> sa Panginoon. <laughs> Kailangan ibalik. Sino pa po? Sino pa po ang pagpipray natin? Sister Len, may gusto kang nalangin natin. Basta uh, pag-pray natin. Kasi yun sa church na yun. Pag yun ay true God na... Medyo po choppy. Ulit po. Ngayon yun. Images. Oh, ayusin ko lang kung sa nating computer ko. Okay, yung, 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 yung kasi nagka-travel lang ko eh. Mm -hmm. So, yung ex exposure ko sa labas, hopefully yung sa health. Ah, okay. Hindi mahawa o hindi maanuhan ng Hindi mm -hmm. ko lang ang tawag na. Uh, safety. Protection, yeah. Protection. Para hindi ka maka-contract hindi ka mo hindi ka ma-infect 
Ano pa? O game na kayo? Manalangin na tayo? Al, uh, sabi nga natin na yung, yung uh, we'll start with adoring the Lord. No? Uh, when we adore the Lord, we proclaim kung sino siya. No? Kasi uh, kahit nalimbawa tayo rin naman eh, kung lalapit tayo sa mga mga padrino o kaya mga mayaman tao, mga makapangyarihan eh, Kumbaga, bago tayo lumapit doon. O teka, bago, ba, para kunin kong ninong yan. Eh, ba, ano ba kapangyarihan yan? Ayan, mayor yan. Hawak niya yung buong bayan. No, hawak niya yung weteng. Hawak niya yung ano. Kumbaga, nakabase doon sa kaya niyang gawin. Ano. Kumbaga, uh, ang, ang Lord, eh, i-proclaim natin kung ano yung kakayahan niya, kung sino siya. Ano. Kumbaga, establish natin uh, ano siya sa buhay natin. And that's how, how we adore Him. No, we start with that. And then uh, we'll have like a pause moment for us to really seek the Lord in terms of confessing our sins. No, kahit sa mind na lang natin, kahit pag na nating sabihin sa ano uh, through our lips, kahit sa mind natin mamaya, we'll have a pause moment. Let's uh, come clean to God and ask for forgiveness sincerely. Ask for forgiveness. And then uh, Thanksgiving, kaya nga tayo kanina, no? Nag testimony, nagkamustahan. No, uh, sinabi natin yung mga magandang nangyayari sa buhay natin. Unless meron pa kayong gusto sabihin, okay lang naman. We still have time. And uh, the supplication, we'll start with the uh, world. Siguro mananalangin nito si si Sister Fe. No? Sister Fe, kayo po ang mananalangin dito. Lalagay ko po yung pangalan niyo dito. Ayan. Okay. Ayan. Sa country, Lagay po natin si Sister Lenlen. Ayan. <coughs> sa, sa church, ilagay po natin si Sister Hansel. Yung Hansel niyo po pa, parang Hansel and Gretel, parang ganun. Yes, zilang, zilang. Ganyan, po ba yan, Hansel. So, tapos, uh, ako po yung mananalangin dito, yung friends, relatives, and you, tapos si Pastor uh, Manny po yung magko-close ng ating prayer and uh, magko-commit sa Lord lahat ng uh, prayers natin and siya na rin yung mag uh, uh, mag-bless sa atin ngayong gabi. Okay, game na ba kayo? Game na ba kayong manalangin? Ano ko lang to? So kapag ka naman may pumasok, tinanggal ko na yung waiting room, automatic na silang papasok dyan, mag-join na lang sa atin. Ingat-ingat sa ano lang sa Zoom kasi natatawa ko yung yung classroom ng anak ko nang zoom sila. Nag uh, nag-aaral sila, may biglang pumasok daw tapos nagmura na nagmura. <laughs> Kinansel tuloy yung klase nila na nagtawanan sila, nagtawanan. Pero anyway kasi uh, lalo na tayo yung Zoom natin, very public, pinopost natin. Uh, pero anyway, ang gagawin lang naman natin ay eh, ikakat off lang naman yan kung sakali man na may gumawa na. At uh, sabi nga ni Pastor Manny, yan mo sila magsipasok na, mag na ma-born again. <laughs> so, manalangin po tayo. Let's start. Um, let's uh, close our eyes and bow our heads as we come to the presence of God and uh, start with uh, adoring Him. Let's declare who God is. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, thank you Lord God for the power of prayer. Thank you Lord for this uh, great opportunity to come to your throne lord god lord uh tonight we just uh we just want to lift up your name lord and uh bless your heart and uh we want to acknowledge your presence we want to acknowledge your power we declare lord god that you are the king of kings and lord of lords lord god that uh, you are more of a servant lord god you are more of a leader lord god you are more a lover, Lord God, of our souls. We, we thank you, Lord God, for all your plans for us. Thank you, Lord God, for your desire. Desire, Lord God, to, uh, for us to be in a relationship with you. Thank you so much, Lord God, for uh, uh, always being there. Thank you for being faithful, even though we are not faithful, Lord God. Lord, individual, Lord, Lord God, as we pause for a moment, we would like to... Uh, talk to you individually. 
and ask for forgiveness if there's anything that we said, if there's anything that we thought of, if there's anything that we did that is not pleasing. <coughs> we want to ask for forgiveness. We will pause for a moment. Uh, I want you to talk to the Lord and uh, deal whatever uh, uh, wrong thing that you did not did or that you said or thought of and uh, come clean to God. Hallelujah. Let's just pause for a moment and talk to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we are very sorry for the things that we did. Lord, we are very sorry for the things that we said that is not pleasing to your ears, Lord God. Lord, we are sorry, Lord God, for the things that we thought of, that it, those unclean thoughts, Lord God, and uh, thinking of things that are not nice to our fellow, fellow men, Lord God. We would like to ask for forgiveness to you, Lord God. We come to your throne and uh, uh, just want to come clean to you, be cleansed by your blood. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And Lord, we want to thank you for everything, Lord God, that you bless us, all the, all the nice things that uh, we've been receiving from you, all the solutions in our problems, Lord God. Thank you for being there, for comforting us, for... Uh, for encouraging us and um, uh, for all the miracles, the day-to-day -day miracles that uh, you're providing for us. Lord, we want to lift up to you uh, the entire world, Lord God. I would like to ask uh, Sister Fe, I will uh, unmute you now. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, we praise and thank you, Lord. Uh, we pray, O oh Lord, that uh, this pandemic situation in the whole world will come to an end soon, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. We pray that uh, this pandemic situation in the world will come to pass, O oh Lord. Uh, you, you, you're the only one, O oh Lord, who can uh, finish this, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. but as long as we trust you, O oh Lord, we believe mm -hmm. that uh, Right now, Lord, we believe that it's still ongoing because there are so many people still who, mm. who do not believe in you, who do not have trust in you, who do not have faith in you, but mm. believe that if these people will just repent mm -hmm. and seek your face, O oh Lord, then you will forgive us and you will heal all the land. You heal the whole world, O oh Lord. Mm. Lord, we thank you, O oh Lord, and we know, O oh Lord, that uh, your mga testings, testings, Lord, are already start mm -hmm. being started, O oh Lord, and we know, Lord, that we will give the solution to all of this. Mm -hmm. We pray also, O oh Lord, for those people who haven't received you, who haven't, uh, who is still question you, O oh Lord, to mm -hmm. seek your faith. That we pray also, O oh Lord, that there, are so, there will be some uh, leaders uh, who will uh, Lead these people, O oh Lord, who will share mm -hmm. the word, who will share the gospel to these people, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, and believe also, O oh Lord, na marami rin pa po rin po, Lord, natatanggap sa inyo. Marami pa rin po, O oh Lord, na sa ngayon ay nagre-repent na, Lord. Mm -hmm. And we believe na by doing this, uh, Lord, you will hear our prayers, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. We believe up to you also, O oh Lord, uh, all the front frontliners, O oh Lord, yung mga doctors, mga nurses, Marami na po sa kanila, Lord, ang sinamaan, mga namatay. Mm -hmm. At marami pa rin po ngayon nga sa hospitals, Lord. We lift up to you all these frontliners, oh Lord. I lift mm -hmm. up to you my cousin in Chicago, in Florida, oh Lord. She's also a nurse and mm -hmm. I believe you will also take care of her, oh Lord. We lift up to you all the guards mm -hmm. na nasa mga butika na nag 
nag-assist sa mga taong namimili ng gamot, mga sa mga cashier, mga security guards, lahat po Lord na nag a sa public, oh Lord. We pray, oh Lord, na ingatan nyo rin po sila, Lord. We believe, oh Lord, na hindi na po magkakaroon ng second wave. Wala na po second wave. Amen. Soon, oh Lord, mawawala na po ito, Lord. Ang mga bases, Lord, na sinasakyan namin, sa ngayon may takot pa po kami, Lord, pero I believe, nililisin nyo rin po ang Lord. We give you praise, we give you honor, oh Lord. You are our healer. You are our deliverer, O oh Lord. Amen. Amen. Uh, amen. Let us pray for our country. I will unmute you now, Sister Len. <coughs> Father God, I just right now and we pray, I, we pray for wisdom, discernment, and knowledge for all the leaders of each country yes, to lead uh, the people in the right, uh, to the right ways of mm -hmm. living, knowledge, and how to survive. Because mm -hmm. we know that crisis is nature. It is not human. Mm -hmm. It is not human. And the only way for us to survive is to go and to get strength from you, give mm -hmm. us strength and um and wisdom yeah. to embrace this crisis. Mm -hmm. in, in that way, we can also have uh, and also to know you more. I know that you are revealing yourself to us, to mm -hmm. each one of us. May we follow that path mm -hmm. that you are showing to us. Mm -hmm. And no and be focused. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Sister Len. I uh, will go now to Thank Sister you. Hansel. Go ahead, Sister Hansel. Let's pray for the church. Lord, thank you that you are. Thank you, Father, that you are a great and awesome, mighty, Amen. magnificent God. Hallelujah. There's no one like you. There's no one like you, Lord God. Yes, You're yes. the Lord of everything. You're the Lord of our lives. You're the Lord yes. of our church. You're mm -hmm. the Lord of this nation. You're the Lord of the world. Father, mm -hmm. I pray that people just realize this, for, oh God, in Jesus' name. And mm -hmm. Father, we thank you that you, are, you have given us opportunity mm -hmm. to really isolate ourselves from the world and mm -hmm. just focus on your word. Let us meditate upon your word day by day. Mm -hmm. You have given us the opportunity, O oh God, to open up our eyes to mm -hmm. what is more important. Nothing is more important than your presence in our lives. Nothing mm -hmm. is more important than our worship. I will continue to claim over and over again, O oh yes. God, yes. in your word, that you are going to bless our, as we worship, you worship the Lord your God. Mm -hmm. Worship the Lord your God. And he is going to bless your food and your water and he will take away sickness from among you. Mm -hmm. I always claim that promise, oh God, as you promised it to Moses and to the Israelites, oh God, is the same promise that we can claim upon you. Even mm -hmm. Lord God, as the reopening of the church, mm -hmm. I'm praying for an opportunity that we could congregate again together. Mm -hmm. As you said in Hebrews, oh Father, that you will not forget to come together and stir up each other. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you that even through this, oh God, your people who are, who are Lord God, who are your worshiper, oh God, mm -hmm. continue to realize how great and awesome you are, the very purpose why you have created us and the very purpose why you have created the church. Mm -hmm. God, is that really to glorify your name. Father, help forgive all our sins, oh God. I repent, oh God, from complacency. Mm -hmm. Oh God, even for a haphazard worship service, oh God, mm -hmm. for people who, who who always are rushing to finish the worship, oh God, mm -hmm. and do their own bidding, oh Father. But now you have allowed us to come together into your presence to realize that what is important, you are seeking for people who would worship you in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. You're hovering, your spirit is hovering around the world, covering all this, the, the point of... Time, oh God, from north to south, east and west, oh God. Mm -hmm. Your spirit is around the globe, oh God. 
steering mm -hmm. people's hearts and mind, allowing this pandemic, oh God, to happen mm -hmm. because you want your people to realize how important you are. Mm -hmm. You're saying, oh God, in the attention, you want the more full attention of our lives, oh God. Nothing mm -hmm. is more important. All these are gone in a split of a second. All possessions are gone in a split of a second. Mm -hmm. Jobs are gone in a split of a second. Yes. Oh Father, stuck. We're down in a split of a second. Mm -hmm. All these monies will be gone within a split of a second. Yes. Because you require us, oh God, to just honor you and worship you. And then you restore us back. Mm -hmm. So Father, I pray that as we do this, revive each one, each one of our heart, oh God. Mm -hmm. Revive us, O oh Lord. Revive. Let there be revival from north to south, east and west, O oh God. Mm -hmm. The churches is going to be opening, O oh God. Make it more fluid, O oh God, and mm -hmm. solid, believing that you are a great and mighty God, that mm -hmm. we could honor you more than enough, O oh Father, that mm -hmm. we could worship you not more than enough, O oh Father. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, we would like to declare who you are in our lives. Lord, give us a change of heart, change of mm -hmm. perspective, all especially our members, O oh God, in Walk by Faith. Our yes. membership, O oh God, in, in different churches that... We are handling, Father, the, the WIFA, oh God, the WPF, oh God, the Church of the mm -hmm. Nazarene, oh God. Let every one of us have a different perspective now, oh God. Mm -hmm. That as we come together and congregate once more, we can truly find a true and living God. Mm -hmm. Even praying for those people who have been seeking you sincerely. But out of that sincerity, Lord, they look upon the different idols. But I'm praying that the change of heart in their lives especially those I know of, Lord God. You mm -hmm. continue, Lord, to pray the rosary. They continue to bow down to an image, your Father, that in the name of Jesus, they would be able, Lord God, to find the truth, the reality mm -hmm. of the Lord Jesus Christ in their lives. Amen. So, Father, we thank you that you're going to use the church as a beacon of light to mm -hmm. walk the gospel, of Father. Bring forth the gospel to all the words. Bring forth the gospel to our friends, our families, our loved ones. Bring forth the gospel in our social media account. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, revive your church again. Mm -hmm. Spirit, touch your church. Steer the hearts of men. Mm -hmm. Revive us, O oh Lord. Give us the passion for people mm -hmm. and a passion for Christ, O oh God. That in the name of Jesus Christ, you're going to build your church once more. Mm -hmm. And you're going to let your church go forth into mm -hmm. all the world, preaching and teaching the gospel. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus, that you're going to prepare our hearts as we do this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Lord, we also remember our denomination headed by uh, our district uh, uh, superintendent, Lord God, uh, mm -hmm. Reverend Greg Garman, Lord God, that we pray for the entire Church of the Nazarene. We mm -hmm. pray, Lord God, also for our sister churches, mm -hmm. uh, the Filipino churches. Uh, the New mm -hmm. Hope Nas, uh, Kalbinas, uh, Cross Culture, and mm -hmm. other Filipino churches across, Lord God, the U.S. Canada region. And uh, we mm -hmm. pray, Lord God, that you continue to use us, bless us, Lord God, and uh, protect us, mm -hmm. Lord God. Uh, we speak of blessings among all of these churches, Lord God. Lord, we mm -hmm. pray for salvation for our friends, our relatives, Lord God, uh, that we've mm -hmm. been uh, praying, Lord God, for a long time. We believe mm -hmm. that uh, you will hear mm -hmm. our uh, cry to mm -hmm. you, Lord God, and uh, we also pray, Lord God, uh, 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 for a kid, Lord God, named Jaden. Uh, she's having an a, a emotional problem, Lord God. We pray, Lord, that uh, you will, uh, you will uh, heal her, Lord God. You will, you, will, uh, you will comfort her, Lord God. We also pray for Therese, Lord God, a teenager, Lord God, who's now in a girl's home, Lord. Uh, we pray for a change of heart. We pray, Lord God, that uh, you will visit her, Lord God, in, uh, in that place. And uh, uh, you will turn around her situation, Lord God. And she will be uh, a, a, a young person who will run with you, Lord God. We pray for Miss Deason, Lord God. Uh, she's uh, uh, in the hospital, Lord God, uh, in the in a, uh, Henry Mayo, Lord, we pray for healing, Lord God. Uh, mm -hmm. If there's uh, uh, mm -hmm. uh, test things, Lord God, we pray for negative results, Lord God. <laughs> we pray for Jonathan, okay. Lord God. Uh, uh, he's having mm -hmm. problem with uh, embolism, Lord God. We pray that uh, that uh, you touch him, Lord God. You comfort him and reveal yourself to him and physically heal him right now, Lord. We pray for mm -hmm. joy and her family, Lord God. She mm -hmm. now, uh, 
the East, Lord God, and uh, uh, they're asking for your help to uh, for their uh, visa problem, Lord God, that they will continue to stay here in the U.S. as one family, Lord God. Bless them, Lord, and uh, yeah. protect them, Lord God. Continue to use them, Lord God, mightily in your ministry, Lord. We pray for uh, Madel, Lord God, who's, uh, who's uh, diagnosed with uh, stage 3 cancer, Lord God. For you, Lord yeah. God, there's no stage 3, Lord. There's no stage 4, Lord yes. God. You are a yes. mighty, powerful God and who's yeah. very uh, capable <clears throat> of healing. In just If you will just utter your lips, Lord yeah. God, in just the... Uh, in just, a, in just a snap, Lord God, you can change anything, Lord God. You can restore body, Lord God, as if you were newly born. Uh, we pray, Lord God, that you heal her in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for Christian's uncle, Lord God, who also has a lung cancer. Lord, there's a reason yes. for us that we're praying for these people. We believe and we want to hear miracles, Lord God, new testimonies, Lord God. Lord, you, you, you even uh, raised Lazarus from the dead, Lord God. That is a dead guy compared to a person who's just sick. Mm -hmm. Lord, uh, we, we have faith, Lord God, that you will heal these people, Lord God. And uh, we just want to declare Amen. your power, Lord God. We pray for the, the uh, nephews and nieces, mga pamangkin po ni Sister Fe, Lord God. Uh, uh, we pray for their salvation. We pray, Lord God, that every time that they will attend Bible studies, that you will pierce their heart. And uh, you will enter their uh, soul, Lord God, and they, you will you will just uh, reveal yourself completely to them, and they will know you. Yeah. They will proclaim you, Lord God. We pray for the Salva Cruz children, Lord God. Uh, we we pray for the revival of their hearts, Lord God. We pray that they continue to bless everything, Lord, that uh, they're touching, they're doing, Lord Amen. God, and uh, everything will be directed directed back to you, to give back glory to you. Uh, their lives, Lord God, will be presented as a holy sacrifice to you, Lord God. And uh, you will also use them, Lord God, mightily in accordance to your plan, Lord God, into your ministry, uh, to blessing other people's heart, Lord God. Lord, uh, you, you, will, you will honor, Lord God, your servants, Lord God, uh, through their children, Lord God. And uh, we, I believe, Lord, that uh, you will do something Lord God, uh, in the coming days, weeks, and months, you will do something, Lord God, and uh, you will hear our cry, Lord God, and uh, and you will you will uh, you will be very very evident, Lord God, in the lives of these children, Lord. We pray for safety and protection for Sister Len, who uh, was a uh, was uh, was also a frontliner, Lord God. Uh, we, but we, we pray that you continue to protect her, Lord God, from COVID-19, that uh, assure her that you are with her every day. Thank you, Lord, for the power of prayer. Thank you for the opportunity that you're giving us. That, uh, thank you for, for, the, for the, the assurance, the encouragement that you are always there, hearing our cries Amen. and answering our prayers in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Go ahead, Pastor Amen. Mani. Lord, our God, I agree with all of these prayers, and we thank you as we claim healing upon those who need healing, O oh Lord, upon those who are sick, O oh Lord. Yes, Lord. We pray for miracles to happen right now, and we agree together that by the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, they will all be healed, Lord. And we pray also, the Lord, indeed, we agree with that prayer mm. for the frontliners, we agree with that prayer for all the world, oh Lord God, to be that this uh, pandemic will be totally destroyed and this mm -hmm. will not even touch us for every family represented here. Mm -hmm. We thank you, oh Lord God, because you are in control and you will bless every family of our church mm -hmm. members, wherever they are right now, protect them from this uh, virus in the name of Jesus and keep them. Mm -hmm. Is family safe, O oh Lord, wherever they are here in the U.S. or in the Philippines, O oh Lord, their children, their children's children, we pray, the Lord God, for a miracle to happen, that because of these things, O oh Lord, everything will be back to normal. There will be no more free bodies that will be produced, O oh Lord God, to fight out this virus. There will be vaccines. Everything will be back to normal, even People will be going back to churches, oh Lord God, uh, mm -hmm. to airplanes, oh Lord God, will be full again. Economy will be back to normal, Lord. Mm -hmm. It will be a miracle and it will happen by the grace mm -hmm. of God. Mm -hmm. So I pray for your protection upon the family of uh, Mr. Jeff and mm -hmm. the family of uh, Lendlen and mm -hmm. Fe and um, 
my, me and my wife, oh Lord, mm -hmm. we believe in the power prayer. Mm -hmm. Bless you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In the name of God the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. 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 It's eight o'clock, exacto. Maraming wow. maraming salamat sa inyo. Ayan, dumilim na sa akin dito. Tumabi na. Basta <laughs> <laughs> nagpa-plectuate dito yung ano eh. Di internet namin, kaya hindi ko na narinig. Opo, oh, okay lang po. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Pag-gabi, so, nagpa-plectuate ang internet eh. Ang daming gumagamit. Ang daming gumagamit. Ang daming gumagamit. Mm, daming gumagamit. Prime time kasi ngayon eh. So, yeah. it feels good to pray for other people. Feels mm -hmm. good to pray for the world. Feels good to pray for ourselves. So let us let us continue to uh, invite other people na mabless din yung heart nila and uh, uh, let's promote the culture of prayer. No, na kung baga, uh, if there's one thing na ma makukuha nila sa simbahan natin, eh, matuturuan natin silang manalangin at uh, makikita nila yung mga milagro ng bunga ng kanilang panalangin, di ba? So maraming maraming salamat at. Uh, See you next Saturday. Actually, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. See, you see you tomorrow, tomorrow morning. Araw, araw, <laughs> araw na tayo. <laughs> araw, araw na nga eh. Parang naging busy pa yata. Basta. <laughs> Basta rin mga infrastructures natin. Naglaki ka na. Lalo <laughs> sila makain doon. Lalo sila makain. Kaya nag-alisa na rin. <laughs> sa, sa buhay ministeryo ko, ito na yung pinaka-busy naging ministry ko sa buhay ko. <laughs> Very busy. Lalo na naging busy. Ayos. At uh, mga kapaglingkod tayo na maayos sa Diyos. Maraming salamat po. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Bye.